This is your stimulus package update, your second stimulus check update, Thursday, August 6. This thing is not going to get done. Let's just go ahead and keep it a buck. There will not be a bill passed tomorrow. And this is where we're about to run into a critical juncture. I want you to understand that political games are being played and this is where we are. There are many people who are hoping for the additional boost of unemployment benefits. That probably is not going to happen no time soon. And the senators are already heading home. They'll be on standby to come back and vote if they can get something pushed through tomorrow. So we're at the 12th hour. And if you've been watching my stimulus updates, I've been telling you the facts. I don't get the views because I, <laughs> I come with the bad news. I don't get the views because I come with the bad news. I said long, long time ago that more than likely there wasn't going to be a second stimulus check package and Trump got in trouble and all of a sudden he was dead set against it. But since Trump is politically weak right now, the senators are not worried about his political base and they're like, and eh, we don't want to do this. This is fiscally irresponsible. So hang on to your hats and boys and girls, there will not be a stimulus package done this week before they go on vacation. Now, Nancy Pelosi has already said that, hey, she will in, you know, put a pause on the vacation. They will stay in session so they can vote on something, but they can't do it without the Senate. And Money Mitch is like, I'm taking my vacation. It may be my last vacation. I don't know. But once again, and I've been telling you, and this is why I haven't been doing this many stimulus check update videos just to talk about what I already know is gonna happen, that they were not going to get it done. Now, will they get it done before the election? Of course. So what could potentially happen that they're not getting it done Friday. So the Senate, they could say, hey, we're gonna stay in session and we're gonna work on this, or they can go on vacation for 30 days, then come back and work on it in September. I think there's a very good chance that that will happen because half of the Republican senators don't want to do this. And that is a delay tactic that they can deploy where they don't have to do it. And frankly, the economy is getting better. I bought a new car. Thank you for all of the well wishes and kudos and stuff on the folks. I really appreciate that. And I bought a a $90,000, it cost me $90,000, but it's a $100,000 car. The dealership was packed. I was out. We adopted a cat the other day. We were out. So traffic has definitely increased. The economy is getting better. People are going to work. Things are happening. And this moves in favor for the Republicans because the economy is definitely getting better. It is starting to get better and the Rona rates are starting to decrease across the country. There's a few hot spots here and there, but you know, people are starting to practice social distancing. People are, you know, I went to the dealership. I had on the mask, the sales, everyone that came in that dealership had a mask on. So people are practicing wearing the mask and I feel that this is the rate that the infection rate is coming down because the mask keeps people who have it from giving it to other people. For all of you scientifically numbnut people who want to debate with scientists and doctors when you barely pass high school math and science, get a hold of yourself. Put your mask on and stop being a dumbass. That's pretty much what you are because there are people who keep going like, I don't believe the numbers. Well, they're putting COVID on, you know, all of these, you know, like Herman Cain, rest in peace, Herman Cain. I'm not going to talk bad about Herman Cain. I liked Herman Cain. I thought he was a cool dude. And many people say, well, you know, he had cancer. He had cancer in 2006. It is 2019. He was a 14 year cancer survivor. It wasn't the cancer. It was the Rona. And, you know, well, fortunately, 
Most of America understand what's going on. Most of America is practicing the safe health protocols. And this is why we're starting to win the war. And we got a few ignorant dumbasses who have no results. Because I'm about to go off here in a second. Because understand, how do I make all of these political economic predictions? I look at the math. I look at the real math. Like when this financial dumbass was coming on my video at Savage Finance talking about, I didn't understand the credit game. Bruh, I got credit cards for $50,000 limits. Do you? I put up receipts. Can you? I don't think so. Cause you're a financial dumbass. Just talking. Cause see, I'm up in my emotions cause I am sick and tired of these feminine ass men who want to try to shine on my parade because they don't have nothing going on. This fool gave me some stuff. Once again, for you to invest $50,000 and to get $8,000 a month, that $50,000 would have to get an annualized return of 100%. What investment is paying an annualized return of 100% on $50,000? Name one, please do. And you know, we're going to start heating it up at Savage Finance. I'm going to start doing a live show. It's going to be a call-in show, so you'll be able to call in and ask questions. And I know the first few rounds are going to be a little janky because we're going to have these financial dumbasses calling in to try to sabotage the store. But see, I got a plan for you because what I'm going to do is use Google Voice to screen your calls. And if you even sound a little flaky or crazy, you ain't coming on the show because this is one of the things that weak feminine men do is they try to piss on the parades of dominant effective men because they're jealous. So we're going to have that show and everything and we're going to we're going to have fun and we're going to get into it because the video that I put up at Savage Finance talking about stop freaking out about your credit score. I mean, I've been seeing this in the comments over my video and another guy who you should watch the credit plug talking about the Oxygen Bank app. And it was like, man, did, 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 they, go, did they pull a hard pull? Look, unless you are applying for credit frequently, because you should only be applying for credit a few times a year and you should only you should have a strategic plan to apply for credit. You shouldn't just be out here applying for credit because you feel like it. And you know, like until I pull, cause the, 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 the receipt that I posted of the $50,000 credit limit that's in my name, the receipt that I posted, I just opened up that account this week. And that's the first hard pull that I've had in three or four or five years. I can't remember the last time I applied for a credit card because my focus is on cash flow, making money not trying to play the credit game because so many people have spent so much time playing the credit game that they don't know how to run the business. They don't even know. Cause like I said, I was right about Bitcoin. I was right about the economy. I was right about the stimulus thing. There's a, there is no second stimulus thing yet. I was right about many, many things I was right about. And then check this out for all of you folks who actually think that an 850 credit FICO score, is better than $200,000 cash, answer me this question. If that is the case, why are they closing and shutting down the accounts of people with good credit? Let me say this again. Right now, there are people with good credit, never been late, they're shutting down their accounts, they're closing their accounts, and they're reducing their credit limits. Please explain that to me, since you seem to know more about credit than I do. Because I guarantee you, I know more about credit than this little pinky than you do in your whole body. I know about credit. I have great credit, but the focus isn't on credit and getting loans. I had a SBA loan that it was like, you know, almost $10,000 a month payment. I was just like, I hated seeing that thing. I was like, good Lord. I'm not that kind of guy and anything that I give you in terms of financial advice will help you and set your life free. And one of the things that I teach is the hard way. You're not going to get immediate results. You're not going to transform your life overnight. 
snapping your fingers. And that's one of the reasons. I've been selling this for years and there are many of you, much congratulations. I appreciate you people who have listened to the advice, who bought the courses, and more importantly, you have done the work and you're seeing the results. That's why you're seeing the results because you have done the work. And right now, if this pandemic has not exposed, it exposed the weak American economy because pre-COVID, pre-pandemic, I was saying we were gonna have a recession and the pandemic made the recession that we were gonna have much, much worse. Much, much, much worse. So I predicted we were gonna have a recession. I did not predict this Rona thing. I did not predict this massive unemployment. And also with unemployment, unemployment filings are still at 1.3 million per week. The economy is getting better, but we're still getting people because we're in phase two of the layoffs. The first round of layoffs were Rona related. Now these second rounds of layoffs are corporate related. Corporate related. Because they're like, Walmart was laying off hundreds of people in its corporate staff. Walmart did not get hurt during this pandemic. They chose to lay those people off. So now the second round of layoffs, the corporate companies have figured out that, hey, this stay at home and work from home thing ain't it so bad. We're saving lots of money. We can do more with less. And that's what they're going to do. And this is why you're going to start seeing additional people being laid off. Look for middle managers who are making six figures, like you know, 150, 300K. Those guys have targets on their back because corporate America has realized that we can function and we can do well without them. So, you know, I, I mean, you know, I, I'm going a little deep because I'm going to do a stimulus check, you know, because if by some miracle they get a package pushed through tonight, I don't think it's going to happen. I feel that we're going to have to wait and see what Mitch McConnell does with the Senate and their vacation plans and going ahead and providing aid and comfort to the American people. We will have to see because it ain't going to happen tomorrow. I, I'm 100 percent guaranteed that there will not be a stimulus package passed tomorrow because they're still bickering. They're still fighting. Trump wants a stimulus package. The Democrats want a stimulus package. Mitch and the GOP Republicans don't want a stimulus package. They're like, yeah, you know, we're, we're talking. Mitch McConnell has not even been in the room during the discussions. He ain't even been in the room. Chuck Schumer called him out. It's like, it's kind of hard to talk to someone who's not in the room. He doesn't show up for the meetings. Mitch McConnell is the wedge point for this second stimulus package. And until Mitch comes to terms, there will not be a second stimulus package. And I'm telling you, Mitch realizes he has a lot of power right now. Mitch is, can show out. He can do the little stanky leg. He can do whatever he wants because right now, Mitch McConnell holds all of the cards and he does not mind holding America hostage and also with this looming eviction crisis that's coming. If the Congress doesn't pass some moratoriums and some forbearance measures to protect the American people, we're looking at millions of people being evicted, which is gonna clog up the courts. It's gonna take months to get these people out of these houses. And we're gonna have a really sad, sad situation. But that's all I got for you guys. This is your second stimulus package. This is your second stimulus check update. Hopefully you are well, and I have some advice for you. You need to start on your own economic stimulus plan. Go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. And also go ahead and get the Oxygen Banking app. An update for that, the, they've been overwhelmed with such a massive response from, my, from the Credit Plugs video in my video that they're three to four weeks behind on processing business applications. I got that information the other day. So just sit tight. And also I've filed for another LLC and the state of Georgia is going on two weeks to approve my LLC. So, you know, the, the delays, you know, so the sooner that you go ahead and act, put your application in, the sooner you'll get to where you need to be. So that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to watch this next video.